I'll go ahead and call this bench trial now into order. At this time, Mr. Dundee, you are facing one charge of joyriding, one charge of reckless evading, one charge of driving on a suspended revoked license, and one charge of kidnapping. You've already mentioned to me that you were going to plead guilty to joyriding, reckless evading, driving on a suspended license, and you're going to plead not guilty to kidnapping. Is that your intention, sir? Ah. All right. At this time, sir, you're facing 60 months and a $4,000 fine, not on top of my contempt of court that I've already placed on you, sir. So the witnesses we have are, I believe it's Brenda, Hilda, Detective Wolf, and yourself there, Mr. Dundee, correct? Choi, you cannot be a witness because you and I are in a relationship. And that She's is an so ethic pissed. violation that could that happen. So you can sit there, ma'am, and go ah, all you want, okay? But this is That's my a long house, dog. and that would be a massive violation of ethics if I was to have you as a witness in a trial that I am presiding over. Do you understand that? No, but it's your courtroom, so. Why does Thank you very much. Turning around? I'd like to make that aware that it is my courtroom and not hers. All right, at this time. All witnesses, if you could please raise your left hand, and I will swear all of you in at the same time. Mr. Pistone, put your finger down. Oh, I hate Dante. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Dundee, could you raise your left arm, please? <laughs> Mr. Dundee, thank you. He's, he's drunk. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. All right. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you sin? Eh. All right. Detective Wolf. Do you yes, swear to tell right. the truth? All right. Brenda, can I get a yes from you? Uh, yep. And Hilda, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you sin? Put your hand up, Hilda. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Give me a second. All right. Detective Wolf, I'd like your statement as to the charge of the kidnapping that he is fighting and contesting here in the courtroom at this time, sir. Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Um, we had we had a 911 call from Dr. Choi that one Mr. Dundee kidnapped Miss Brenda Pancake. Uh, we responded. Uh, unfortunately, we could not find the vehicle that was used to kidnap Miss Brenda. However, is that the we of the uh, did catch Mr. Dundee after he released Miss Brenda. I did also get in contact with Miss Brenda, and she said she was in fact kidnapped. Objection! I didn't do it. a witness to her getting kidnapped. Dundee, Mr. Dundee, Dundee, Dundee no outbursts at this it's, time, please. He's, he's saying the you word. Not that you that word. Your side to the courtroom. It's Brenda. It does not work that not way, Brenda. sir. Not at a bench trial Brenda. like this. Thank you very much. Brenda, future Dundee, Dundee, say it. All right. Is that your whole statement to that? Yes, Detective Your Honor. Wolf. All right. Thank you very much, Detective Wolf. Brenda, could you please step forward? There you go, slapper yep. is. God damn right. What a POV <laughs> right here, boys. Hello, Hi, everyone. Brenda. My could name is Brenda. Okay, what, okay what this is? isn't this isn't you know like Tinder and you're putting out your profile out there. Okay, that. all right. This is a courtroom. Wow. Now, uh -huh. yeah, I just said that. Uh huh. So. I want your statement, ma'am, as to the kidnapping charge. All right? And then I may ask okay. you some questions about this mm -hmm. incident. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Heard his throat um, up. Heard his throat so up. I was at the hospital working, as I always am, every day, all day, every day, and never leave. And uh, I was outside talking to Hilda, who is the lady over there. And uh, as I was talking to her, uh, the guy with the cowboy hat and the weird body hair um was hiding listening to our conversation and then i thought it was because he was checking out you know my assets because that's very common in the city to be honest with that's you that's a joke okay could all right I'll, Vinny, shut Mr. up Vinny. Mr. Anyways, order in my courtroom as i one, continue let me stop you right there um, ma'am mr okay, pistone yep. no outburst please now could you describe your assets to the court I apologize. please what assets it are you talking about stacked Order. like a pancake like babies bad at Tetris, you know, like that. 
<laughs> and you know. Order in my court, please. Thank Fucking, you. When, right. when Thank the you war describing your assets. I don't understand I'd why everyone like is laughing. I, I really Mr. don't understand. Dundee. Why am I missing something? I'm not laughing. Thank you very much. All right. Go on, Miss Pancake, please. Anyways, anyways. So upon inspection, I believe he was not, in fact, checking out my assets, but with some sort of, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe he was trying to uh, kidnap, you know. Anyways, I then witnessed the gentleman pick up Hilda, take her to his car with his friend, and I, being the hero I am, decided to make sure to follow them, and in that, I got pushed to the ground and also picked up and stuffed into the vehicular. All right, so you're you're claiming that he picked up Hilda and yes. was carrying her towards his vehicle? Yes. And All I right. did my why due didn't, diligence. Why to, didn't you uh, contact law enforcement when you saw that happening? Um, well, to be honest with you, I was, but I wanted to witness everything that was going on, and I was trying to possibly um, see what I could do. You know. I, okay. I, yep. All right. And, at the, and after... Can you go over after you got to his vehicle? What happened from there? Oh well, can I say? Can I rewind? Can I... You may. You may. Sure. Okay. So I rewinded. Okay. So um, the reason also I just remembered was because I saw Choi running out of the hospital. I think my screams, you know, my quiet yelling, uh, might have drawn attention. Thankfully. Okay. And uh, okay. Choi decided to run out and pretty much witness the thing. So I felt like, you know. All right, uh, and what happened to you fault. once you reached his vehicle? Uh, he kept driving, and I asked him to stop, and obviously he didn't. And then we went into the pier in the ocean. All right, did you feel at any time that you were held against your will? Uh, well, I was stuffed into a car. I didn't want to with two weirdos, so yeah. I think that's a big okay. yes, Y-E-S. When you say stuffed into your car, where in his, car. his vehicle mm -hmm. were you? Uh, in the back. In the trunk or in the back seat? No, not the trunk. The back seat. The back seat. All right. So he physically placed you in that vehicle. <laughs> he did. Oh, he my really God. She's crying. He stuffed me in there like I was some sort of turkey in the oven or something. Okay. Oh, All right. Does I anyone have a tissue or a uh, a uh, handkerchief <laughs> for Brenda? <laughs> Bullshit. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. What? Thank you, John. What? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. I'll be okay. Now, how were you? Were poking me? You hear me? Did, were you released? Did they let you go? Did, did you escape? Not. What happened from there? Um. Well, after many failed attempts of asking, you know, the gentleman to stop his car, obviously didn't work, and we uh, basically did a high-speed drive right into the ocean. In, no. Okay. <gasps> into the ocean. He drove his yes. his vehicle with you in it into the ocean. Yes, sir. Did he say anything while he was driving it into the ocean? Uh, I don't remember. I was very uh, I was trying to make Shit. sure I didn't die. You know, there's a lot of paperwork on my desk right now, and I'm kind of thinking about it. I I really should get to after this. Um, and I was Senda! pretty much freaking out. So. Senda! Uh, I'm pretty sure. He was like, just yeah, yelling. The there was this. a lot of yelling going on, you know. Both Hilda and I were just okay. very loud, and then we were in the ocean. All right. Thank you very much, Miss Pancake. Yep. What the heck? There's a piece of glass there. You just got to step yep. around. Good. Yep. Go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Hilda, would you please you. approach and uh, give me your statement, Hilda? Chat. You have to understand. I need you to approach the bench, there. please. Well, I need okay. to shut up. Thank you. Here's, here's the thing, Chad. You can either stand there before me say, or you can go no, into the box. I wasn't kidnapping them. I was driving a stolen vehicle and I held two against me. All right, Hilda, me. you've already been sworn in. I, I have no evidence of that. Under Since oath, I have no uh, evidence your that I was with them at any point in time, uh, my story is going to be... I was Being never said, there in the first place. The only thing I remember place. now is that I had a veggie burger. They caught and me. And I don't remember shit. Now I would have said yes. Right? I was now giving them a lift crazy, and I had a gun on me. I got God in my head too. Talking a lot of shit. And, and they I'm... never saw me with them. Wait, you have God I'm not in going to include mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. So God I was there in any lot of shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 5150. All right. Have you sought out medical treatment for that, ma'am? No. 
Fucking hell, you're no. cooked in the head. Okay. Mr. Irwin, I've already held you what? in contempt of court. Would She's you like me to add mate. on top of it? She's off her chops. Listen, Fuck Mr. Irwin. My, my, look. I'm about to have you detained and put a piece of duct tape across your mouth. Do you understand me? You fucking for real, mate? Fuck me, dead your bunch I of softies. Try me. All right, so you're claiming that you eat veggie burgers and you don't remember I shit. Had a and you have God in your head and, and I don't you don't remember, remember shit. A lot of details. You do understand the that this is I on the remember. record currently. Okay. Yeah. Listen, right. I don't remember much, all right? I don't remember details and anything. I remember I was talking to Brenda in the, chair, in, the in the stairs and then those two crazy guys showed up. I got carried and and then in a car and I don't remember more. All right? Okay. Were you in the vehicle when Brenda was in the vehicle? Oh, yeah, because I, I remember screaming, so I guess that was her. Like, okay. really intense screaming. You know what I mean? Like, Wait, what? I can't even I, do it. I understand. What? All right. She okay. forgot the gun pot. All right, yeah. Hilda, really you cute. can... Uh, cute. Thank you really for your, your statement and your testimony. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. really didn't help, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, you you're can go welcome. Back there you know, now. if you need anything else, just let me know, all right? The veggie I will let good. you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mr. Dundee, please approach or take the box. I'll take the box for right now. I'll go myself a red carpet for you because know, I'm famous. Uncle Irwin Dundee. G'day, mate. All right, Mr. Dundee, as to the charge of kidnapping, you've already pled guilty to the other charges. I want your statement, sir. I may stop you and ask you very specific questions. Do you understand me? Yeah, I understand. Okay. All right. I need to ask you one other thing, sir. Are you under any kind of narcotics right now? Nah. Fingers, oxy, anything of that nature, marijuana. Nah. I wish I was. Okay. Crack cocaine. Ah, uh, that was what? Ice. Uh, I was allegedly on it a while Meth. ago. Nah. Heroin. Nah. Uh, not for Smack. a week. Crank. Uh, that okay. was uh, right. Thank a few you very days much. ago. Yeah, nah. All right, Mr. Dundee, I'd like your statement, please. Uh, Specifically to the kidnapping charges that are against you. I was never fucking part of any of this shit, mate. Fucking, I can tell you what I was doing in the past few hours. But I was never here in the first place. The only time I was at the hospital is when I was uh, finishing up my episode of uh, Cop Hilarious Cop Fails on YouTube. Oh, I know it wasn't on YouTube. It was at the Pink Cage Motel during that bank robbery where those cops got fucked up, mate. It was hilarious. So, essentially... Your Honor. It, what? Uh, let him finish his statement, then you can speak, Yo. detective. So... Go ahead, uh, I was going to go get me bike at the Pink Cage Motel where I fell down the stairs and I hurt me neck. So I walked on down to the hospital and I saw, well, that doctor, and that doctor fixed me up. And I got on me bikey and then I met me and me mate Gaza. I mean, uh, sorry, not Gaza, Daza, uh, down at the pier. We stole a green car, fucking went up and down the beach, did our service for the day. And then we got into a chase and then fucking... I'll go to the hospital to fucking, you know, because Daz a fucking hurt his footy. Uh, fucking, uh, and then all of a sudden the cop pulls up and fucking asks me, where's Brenda? Look, okay. And the last time I saw Brenda, well, she got in a red car with this fucking beta looking cunt. Like, he dead set looks like he gets, he gets uh, fucking stick shoved up his ass 24 hours a day. Fucking, he looks like it was uh, Rami. Let the record uh. reflect that Rami is the beta. Okay, yeah. uh, do you have anything else to add, Mr. Dundee? And then Detective Wolf may have had a question or a statement. Uh, these guys reckon that I apparently threw a gun. They saw me alleged. They saw me throw a bag, and then they've just started saying, yeah, that was a gun, but they never went back for the bag. Or I never threw a bag because okay. I never had a gun. Well, I don't believe you're being charged with a weapons charge at this time, sir. Well, they're linking it to the kidnapping. They're saying, you kidnapped her with a gun. Detective Wolf, you had something to say? Yes, Your Honor. The, the statement he made about watching the cops at the Pink Cage show, that was very hurtful, what he said to me. Also, Your I Honor, did he, he, he admitted to st stealing the vehicle. Am I able to change his charge from joyriding to Grand Theft Auto? That's actually up to you at this time, sir. Since he's already pled guilty to joyriding, it is up to you if you want to charge him with Grand Theft Auto. And if he wants to fight the Grand Theft Auto charge, we can do that right now. But he has already claimed that the vehicle was stolen, yes. Mate, stealing is yes, an Aussie he, slang he word for fucking stealing. a group of people stealing a car. 
you know, nicking a car. Oh, that's so oh, oh, my brother, group, yeah, right. my brother was the one who right. stole it. I understand. You know, now, I have a question for Miss Pancake. Miss Pancake, what color vehicle were you put in? I believe it was a uh, bright yellow vehicle. Like a bright, like suburban looking car, maybe. Did it have um, any markings on it? Uh, I don't remember any markings. Yes! Now. It's just All a right. yellow car. Thank, Thank you very much. Mr. Dundee, do you have anything else to provide to the court at this time? Or I help your case. The cop saying I kidnapped this person in a yellow car and I was clearly found in a green one. Well, you and I both know that uh, there is the slight possibility that you may have swapped vehicles, but that's up to my determination, sir. Thank you very much. You may step down at this time. You got any pingers? Your Honor. No, I don't Honor, have any take... pingers. Oh, no, I said you could step down. Yes, can detective. Can I say one more thing, Your Honor? Uh, yes, you uh, may. Miss Brenda did state that they dumped the vehicle into the ocean, and that's the reason why he no, had a never. vehicle when we caught him. Right. I did catch that statement from Brenda, yes. Yes, Your Honor. All right. At this time, I'll go ahead and place this bench trial and recess, and I'll come back with a ruling and a verdict in uh, just a few moments. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. This bench trials and recess. They're probably Everybody, say please that act cordial towards each doing. other. Don't Hilda. beat the crap out of each other. You're supposed to be helping. Mm -hmm. In your pocket, okay? All right, can everyone hear me at this time? Yeah, good eye, mate. Yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Dundee. You were here to argue the charge of kidnapping. I bet yes. you're still guilty. Now, guilty. on top of that, sir, I am going to also charge you with contempt of court. So, sir, at this time, I do find you guilty of Fuck! kidnapping. How? You also have the other charges that uh, Detective Wolf had already charged you with, and you... Sir, do not run from this courthouse. Ah! Did he just run? I could have seen that from a mile away. I told you. Oh, good night. You can add it. Should have called the lawyer. Custody. Oh, fuck. In custody. God right. damn it. Detective Wolf. Me, Becky. Yes, Your Honor. 105 months and a $6,000 fine. Oh, fuck off. Yes, Suck me Honor. nuts with your Time dumb looking two. cowboy hat. Mm. Wait, Your Honor, sorry, uh, one more time, what was the Because he's uh, getting fine? 105 months and a $6,000 fine, because you can 6, add contempt of court on top of that. Sack, more. Yes, Your Fuck, man, okay, your Mr. forehead's Dundee. got more wrinkles than my nuts. Would you like to take a look at them while you're sucking? Have a good day. Fuck you. I'm Should've nicking your car. Ah, well. Mm. All right, Mr. Danny, I'm going to be sending Idle you from threats. the courthouse here, okay, sir? 105 months. No objections. Ticket, okay, sir? Suck more nuts. How? There's no wow. evidence but witnesses. All right, you have a good one, okay, Mr. How? Dundee? How could they see me? Yeah, I got... How could they see me? Oh, I don't think he billed me. He's probably going to bill me now. Ah... <sighs>